Hello everyone, welcome back to the new episode of our tutorial series on Blood Bank Management System. In the previous episode, we have successfully designed login form for our Blood Bank Management System. And in this episode, we will add actual functionality to login in our application. So without further ado, let's move to our tutorial. So first of all, we will need to open our project which is Blood Bank Management System and I have my project in desktop so i will open the solution file of our project which is blood bank management system dot solution and the project will open on visual studio ide so this was the login form we designed in the previous video and in this episode we'll add actual functionality to login using username and password and before adding that functionality we need to create business logic layer and data access layer for login module so let's go to solution explorer and in bll right click on bll folder and click on add and click on new item and here select a class and this will be login bll and then press enter or click on add button so this will be the bll for our login module and here we will create getter and setter for our login and to login in our application all we need is username and password so we will create a getter and setter for both of them so i will type shortcut which is prop and tap 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 button twice and it will be of string data type so string tab username and then press enter enter and another one will be prop tap tap and it will also be of string type and press tab and it will be password and press enter so that's it guys this is the bll for our login module let's save it by pressing ctrl and s and we also need to create data access layer for login so go to solution explorer and in data access layer folder dal folder just right click on it and click on add click on new item and select class and it will be login dal and then press enter or click on add button and here we will create method to login in our application and here the first step is to create a static string to connect database so static string my connection string is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings and it will be connection string we created in our app.config file to connect our database and then last one is connection string that's it and don't worry about the error just hover over the error and click on show potential fixes and select the first one which is using system.configuration and it will solve our error after that we will create a boolean type method to check login so public bool it will be login login check and in this method we will be passing login bll so i will pass login bll l and its, its object will be l that's it and don't worry about the error just hover over the login bll and click on show potential fixes and select the first one which is using blood bank management system bll it will solve the login bll error but we still have one error and don't worry about it this method requires a boolean variable to be returned so we will be creating a boolean variable and return it which will fix the error so create a boolean variable and set its default value to false so bool is success is equals to false and we will return it return is success and it will solve the error as well and then we will connect database so connecting database SQL connection con is equals to new 
SQL connection don't worry about the error just hover over the error and click on show potential fixes and click on first one which is using system.data.sql client and it also fixes the error and then we will write the actual code to log in to our application in our try catch block so I'll start try block and then catch here we will have exception ex and we will display a message error message if we have any exceptional errors so display error message if there's any exceptional errors so um, message box dot so ex dot message that's it and don't worry about the error just hover over the message box so click on show potential fixes and uh, select the first one which is using system.windows.form and that's it and the last one is finally and here we will close database connection and it will be connection dot close this will close the database connection that's it guys and in try block we will write the actual code to log in to our application so the first step is to write sql query so sql query to check login based on username and password so is string sql is equals to select all from tbl underscore users where username is equals to at the rate username and password is equals to at the rate password so that's it this is the SQL query to check whether the user exists or not and login in our application and then we will need to create SQL command to pass the value to SQL query. So create SQL command to pass the value to SQL query. So SQL command cmd is equals to new SQL command and here we will pass SQL and database connection that's it after that we need to pass the value to sql query using parameters so pass the value to sql query using parameters so cmd dot parameters dot add with value and then here we will create a parameter at the rate username it will be l dot username and the last one will be cmd dot parameters dot add with value and this will be at the rate password and it will be l dot password that's it and after passing the value to sql query we will need to create sql data adapter to get the data from database so let's create sql data adapter so sql data adapter to get the data from database so sql data adapter adapter is equals to new sql data adapter and here we'll pass sql command which is cmd that's it and then we will create a data table to hold the data from database temporarily so data table sorry data table data table dt is equals to new and then data table that's it and don't worry about the error just hover over the error and click on show potential fixes and click the first one which is using system the data and after that we need to uh, fill the data in data table from sql data adapter so fill sorry fill the data from adapter to dt so 
adapter dot fill and here we'll pass dt that's it and the last thing we need to check is whether the user exists or not so check whether user exist or not so if dt dot rows dot count is greater than zero user exist and login successful else login failed so when the login is successful the value of is success will be true else the value of is success will remain false so that's it guys we have successfully created data access layer for our login as well let's save it by pressing ctrl and s and finally we will add the functionality to login using our login form so let's create that functionality so first of all we need to create our button click event so let's create that event by double clicking on this login button so i'll just double click on this login button and this is the button click event for our login button so here we will write the code to login our application so the first step is to create the object of our login bll and login dal so after the public form login here we will create the object of bll and dal so login bll l is equals to new and then login bll don't worry about the error just hover over the error and click on show potential fixes and select the first one which is using blood bank management system dot dll and under one is yellow login dal dal is equals to new login dal and don't worry about the error just hover over the error click on show potential fixes and select the first one which is using blood bank management system dot dal so we have successfully created object of our login bll and login dll and let's go to our button click event and here the first step is to get the username and password from our login form so one step one is to get the username and password from login form so l dot username is equals to txt username dot text and then l dot password is equals to txt password dot text that's it and then we will check whether the user is successfully logged in or not so check the login credentials so bool is success is equals to dal dot login check and here we'll pass username and password so that's it and if the login is successful then the value of is success will be true but if the login is failed then it will be false so let's check check whether the login is success or not if login is success then it will be true else it will be false so if is success is equals to, is equals to true then login success else login failed and when login is success we will display the success message and we will redirect or we will open our home form or a dashboard so first step is to display success message so message box dot so login successful and then we will redirect to 
home form so display home form so frm home home is equals to new form home and here we will open the form which is home dot so and after showing the home form we will hide or we will close the login form so this dot hide to close login form and when login is failed we will just display the error message so display the error message so message box dot so login failed try again that's it we have successfully created a login functionality let's save it by pressing ctrl and s and we will actually check whether the login form and login functionality works or not but before uh, checking out the functionality we need to add a authentic user with username and password for that i will go to program.cs and open our home form or user form so i'll go to solution explorer and here in program cs just double click on program.cs and it will open the program.cs file and in order to add an authentic user i will open a home form or user form i think i will open a user form so instead of form login we will open frm users let's save it by pressing ctrl and s this is just to add authentic user we will later change it to form login so let's start our application by clicking on the start button and this is our user form from here we can add a new user so i will add a new user it will be administrator and it will email will be admin at gmail.com i will type its username as admin and it will its password will be something and contact will be something and address will be something let's click on add button to add a new user so i'll just click on add button new user added successfully and here is our new user so i'll close this form and now i have a authentic user to log in uh, previously i just created users to check uh, whether the user form worked or not so let's stop the application and let's open our login form and check the login functionality so i'll just open login form instead of users so I'll frm login let's save it by pressing ctrl and s and let's start our application by clicking on start button so we have the username and password field let's add the username and password of user created recently so it will be admin and password will be something and let's click on login button and check whether the functionality works or not so i'll just click on login button the connection property has not been initialized okay we have an error in our connection string so i'll just click on okay and let's check the error so i'll just go to login from login.cs and in our connection string let's check the connection string not here in data access layer so let's go to login dal.cs and here sql connection so here i have not passed the connection string that we have created so we need to pass connection string here my connection string so let's save it by pressing ctrl and s and let's start and let's check admin and password will be something and let's log in so login successful let's click on ok and our home form is displaying successfully so this is it guys we have successfully added the functionality to login in our application using username and password so this is it guys thanks so much for watching if you like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe and in the next episode we will add a functionality to uh, add the information of logged in user inside our donor module so till then see you soon bye bye see you in next episode